Uh, all of these have backings and, and they're called hinged mats. I teach because it's fun. I teach because it's fun. I teach because it's fun. I enjoy it and I enjoy the students and the work that they do. Oftentimes I see things one way and they come up with something that I really hadn't thought of. I think what Hope really likes is making you making an honest effort at what you're doing. Hope expects a lot of your time, your efforts, your works, as well as a well-educated, well-rounded artist. I really would like for the students to discover themselves and find their path. And oftentimes they may come to this class and they're expecting for me to have the answer for them. They don't always realize that there is not the answer, there are many answers. And in that sense, they have to find the paths that are best suited for them. Some of the things that I hope they're going to pick up is that there's going to be some carryover from this class into some of the other classes that hopefully they'll take in the future or maybe have already taken. For example, last week we went outdoors to Wisconsin Point and we've been doing some things where they've been pairing up with each other. This doesn't necessarily carry over into all of the other classes, but certainly this idea of working collaboratively with other people is one of the major things. That's definitely a benefit in the class. You're always working with someone else, talking to other people. By that, you're gaining new friends, learning about other people's lives, and then you could potentially relate to their experiences as well with some of your own. You get attention. He's able to, to see what everybody's doing. You hear what other people are getting for suggestions, and you know you, you pick that up too. Success is probably defined on an individual basis, and for me, sometimes it's on a day-to-day -day basis or a week-to-week -week basis. The students may not necessarily be Rembrandts. But again, they may take away from them some very positive experiences. And in turn, they pass that experience on to someone else. Sometimes it's the significant other, uh, sometimes family members or friends. I had a great success in this class, I feel. From when I first came in here, I had a hard time drawing stick figures, and then we went to contour drawing right away. That was hard, that was a big challenge for me, but I overcame it, and I feel I did a lot better. Hopefully they're gonna get a few drawing skills out of it. Perhaps maybe they'll become art majors and then be budding artists. And when they're interviewed, they'll say, oh, I remember back when I was at UW-Superior and I had this professor. <laughs>